So it's currently quarter to two a.m. in the morning, uh, and I can't sleep because while I was in York during the middle of the week, I saw an advert uh, for something that I've been looking at for a while, and I haven't done one of these kind of like vloggy videos in a while. But I thought this might be a good opportunity to do one, as it's pretty big, it's pretty cool and um, special. So I'm pretty excited, and I spent the rest of this afternoon since I got back to London kind of prepping and uh, just readying stuff and I think I know what I'm bringing with me to this thing tomorrow but I'm, I'm not entirely sure but yeah I'm excited I'm excited so tomorrow is now the day um, today uh, in the early afternoon I'm going to a studio uh, in Hampstead to try uh, an amp that I've been interested in for a while, so I'm up for second hand on the old reverb, and uh, yeah, gonna give it a try, see how it sounds, yeah, just excited. I'm restrung a few guitars, so I was trying 10.5s on my main strat, and I wasn't quite, I wasn't quite feeling it. I'm not quite feeling it, so I'm about down to 10s. Um, I'm trying to decide, I'm bringing my, my main strat and my pedal board, and then I'm kind of like, my dad's coming around and I'm trying to decide what else to bring, because he's going to give me a hand getting them. Um, and I can't decide whether to do my SG or my arch top, uh, just because they're very different sounds. One's obviously double humbuckers and one is a mini humbucker, as a floating mini humbucker, just on its own, just the one. Which I like because it, you know, it's more challenging. You have to think a bit more about where you're picking and to get different sounds and you have to think more about dynamics and being creative with your note choices and all that kind of stuff that accompanies what's arguably a more limited guitar so you just have to be a bit more creative, which is fun. Um, I'm not sure which to take yet. I've reefed strung them so they sh they're all ready to go. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of stuck as to what to take. Oh, we'll work it out, we'll work it out. There is also the additional caveat with all this that I'm not actually, I'm, I, it's not a, it's just a head that I'm looking at today, so I've still got to get a cab for it afterwards. So I've still got to get the cabinet, but it's a head that I've been interested in a really long time. And I've had a, I've had a combo for quite a, I've got a little 30 watt combo uh, thing that I've had for quite a while, about five years now, maybe five or six. Uh, and it's great, it's not a tube amp, it's, I think they call it like tube technology or something like tube emulation technology in a little Roland Blues Cube hot. It can get plenty loud on its own, but there's just some elements to it that are a little, I love it to bits, but I started playing at my local jam more recently, and they have tube amps, like everything, pretty much everything there is a tube amp, and the thing that I plug into the most is a Lazy J, which I love, but it doesn't have a reverb circuit in it, which I'm a little bit like, oh natural reverb um, so the amp that we're looking at today has all that kind of stuff it's got the power for gigging it's got it's 42 watts so it's got it's got some serious power in it and it will last for a long time it's good build quality and will be good for all sorts of venues and can switch down to like a lower power but yeah I'm excited I'm super excited I haven't done something like this in a while so this will be fun okay so we're here at Air Studios um, and what we are trying out today is this absolutely gorgeous Victory V40 Deluxe. And I can honestly say, having played in it now for about an hour, best thing I've ever played in. Like, it sounds so beautiful. Like, the best qualities of both a Fender and a Dumble right here in this beautiful package. Punchy, loud, clean, smooth.
So, just for record, which was at the top or the bottom? Was that the top? That's the top, the top, one. That's the top one. That's cool. ET sixty five. Gotcha. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> So, as you can quite plainly see, got the amp home now, and uh, very excited with it, but still need a cab to go with it, but I'm looking at some options. Hopefully that will come together in the next couple of weeks, but I can't wait to get this thing properly up and running in my, in my regular setup, and then hopefully start using it live. So yeah, it's a bit of a beast, a bit of a beast, but it's a very clear beast. Which is what I love about it. It's got power and clarity. So, um, yeah. Can't wait to start using this properly, see what it's really made of. One week later.